we can't just be a service industry. We need to make things. We need to produce something. We don't want to just be part of a trend. We want to be leading the trend to bringing manufacturing back here into the United States of America. We got involved with Hennig in the 70s. It was during that time that the global headquarters for all of Hennig worldwide was out of Munich, Germany. And then in 1999, an offer came to us to see if we'd be interested in buying Hennig Inc. And I did some due diligence, looked at the company, and I suggested to my father, we should buy this company. This is a good company. Well, Hennig has two main focuses. The first focus is machine tool protection. Machinery that traverses back and forth needs to be covered with some type of sheet metal or some type of fabric covering to protect the machine from debris, contaminants, chips, but also to protect the operators from injury. And so our primary products are uh, telescoping way covers, we make telescoping bellows out of fabric, way wipers, aprons, machine tools that cut chips require them to be removed and we remove them through chip conveying systems and in addition to excavating the chips we also can filter the coolant that so many machine tools operate within. We also make big machine enclosures. You'll see one right behind me which is a different area of business we've gotten into which is providing the fuel tanks and the machine enclosures for these big backup power generators. The, the importance of backup power generation is if you look at hospitals or police stations or fire stations or data banks or supermarkets, you cannot be without power. If there is a blackout or a brownout or a tornado or a hurricane, it's catastrophic if all of a sudden you don't have backup power. And this is a big market opportunity for us and we're excited to be involved with them. These are large fuel tanks for backup power generation. And we make them in three sizes, big, bigger, and huge. We uh, get the kit from the folding machine. Comes in several pieces. We assemble them with baffles, sides, ends, until you get a fuel tank. And then we pressure test them, and we put them under vacuum to make sure they are absolutely leak-proof. Well, the key for us to compete in a global arena is we have to really focus on eliminating waste. That's probably the primary objective of lean enterprise, lean manufacturing. And we look at the entire process, uh, womb to tomb, cradle to grave, what can we do to eliminate waste? What things are we doing right now that really isn't adding value? Because if it doesn't add value, don't do it. Our customers are not willing to pay for non-value added activities. In pretty much every industrialized area, um, we have a presence. And that's critical because many of our customers are global and they are looking for global suppliers. So if they have a facility in North America, we can produce right here out of Rockford for the North American market. In Brazil, we produce out of Brazil. In Europe, out of our three facilities in Europe. That helps us tremendously because we can provide uh, sales and service support as well as manufacturing support for those particular geographic regions. But at the same time, we're also local in those areas. So each region has its own culture, has its own customer base, and as a result of that, um, it allows us to develop strong, strong relationships in all those particular regions. That's the local aspect. So if you need something very quickly, you don't have to wait for a container to come over by ocean freight. You can get it done within that particular region very quickly and very cost competitively and understanding each other's cultures within those regions. We have to invest. And to continue to be competitive, we have to be willing to put resources into these type of processes and technologies that helps us be more competitive. Some of the equipment that we bought, for example, state-of-the-art laser cutting machines, run lights out. In the evenings, no one's in the plant, the lights are out, but we continue to cut product. We have a saying, if you're not growing, you're dying. And so if we don't invest, our competition will invest, and we don't want them leapfrogging over us. The resurgence in manufacturing that we're seeing is not a fad, it's not the flavor of the month, it's really happening. 
and we don't want to follow that trend, we want to lead that trend. And so we want our customers to know and understand and grasp that we're not here to be followers, we're here to lead. And we want to lead together with you, with our customers, with our suppliers, with our other stakeholders. Where we're producing, we're making something, we're creating jobs, we're giving opportunities for people here in this country to support their families and to give them an opportunity for a better life.